Hey everyone, so a couple of weeks ago I posted a review of this, which is the Garmin HMR Dual heart rate monitor. And my conclusion was that it, it was fine. Like it wasn't my go-to, because I don't like it as much as a HRM Dry, and I tend to use my Polar H10 when I need Bluetooth. But this one was just as good, and if you needed Bluetooth, this was a fine choice. I've been training with this quite a lot over the past few weeks since I made the video, and I changed my mind, and we'll get into it in this video. So the, this has been fine for most of the time I've had it, but I've really been paying, I guess, more attention over the past two weeks as I've used it a bit more and mixed it in with my Polar H10, and I'm seeing some dropouts on this one. So I've got it connected to both my tablet and my computer and I'm seeing occasional dropouts where my heart rate will suddenly stop registering and it'll only happen for a second and then it will come back and it's a pretty quick dropout, it recovers pretty quickly. So it's not a major disaster but it is a bit annoying and I wondered if it could not be the heart rate monitor. There's a bunch of other problems it could possibly be. Like, is it the computer? But I've seen drop-offs on both Zwift, which I run on my Mac Mini that's connected to my TV, and on Train and Road, which I run for my tablet. So it's not device specific. And I went back and had a look at my workouts on my Polar H10, and I'm not getting the dropouts there. So, it kind of does point a bad finger. Let's jump onto my computer and I'll show you the problems and we'll go from there. So I'm here in my Garmin Connect account and we can have a look at some of my rides. This one is one that did I did on Trainer Road, so had my everything connected to my iPad and so I had my smart trainer connected. I also had my power meter from my bike connected even though my smart trainer gives me power I was still using the power meter on there and I had my heart rate monitor connected as well. There are some clear dropouts here. It looks like there's some on the speed as well but I did just stop pedaling a couple of times to fiddle with things on the iPad but the, the heart rate just drops out. We can see four bits here where it just disappears and yeah, it's not like speed where you just stop. And I've, yeah, I've got consistent readings on the power and the cadence from the power meter and the smart trainer. So that seems to have been connected the whole time. But the heart rate monitor isn't for some reason. And then again on this one on Zwift. Then, so on Zwift I connect everything to my macbook mini which sits under my tv don't use my power meter for that just use the heart rate monitor and my smart trainer does everything else and this data will all come from zwift but again we've got this mysterious dropout here only one in an hour and a half so not terrible but still i'm getting consistent readings from the smart trainer the whole time And then if we so if we then compare that to some older rides, here's one I did on Zwift fairly recently using my Polar H10 and everything's perfect, the heart rate just there the whole time and there's no dropouts. And then again if we go to this one, which is a trainer road workout, so again this is where I connect it to my iPad. And again, on my Polar H10, we've just got heart rate data the whole way. So there's nothing awful here. Like there are some dropouts and it recovers straight away and seems to give an accurate reading. But it's just annoying that these dropouts happen and the heart rate disappears from the screen a bit when that isn't happening on my Polar H10. Now, maybe I've just been unlucky and there's more interference with the Bluetooth signal recently, which is just killing the heart rate data, and this would have happened on the Polar H10 anyway, but I don't, it's something I've never noticed with the Polar H10 in the whole time I've been training, and it, yeah, it, it's been consistently happening recently with the HRM Dual. So what does that mean for the Garmin HRM Dual. I mean, it could just be unlucky and just a couple of workouts have hit a black spot, but 
everything else seems to be connecting fine, like I'm not getting the problems on other things that are connecting via Bluetooth, like my smart trainer or my power meter on my bike, which I'm also pairing in addition to my smart trainer with trainer road. So there's other Bluetooth signals going in and they're working fine, which kind of points to the heart rate, unfortunately. So I am um, not recommended these. It might just be bad luck and um, but it's happened a couple of times in a couple of workouts and I haven't seen it on anything else, which means as ever, like the Garmin HRM Tri is still my go-to heart rate when I can connect via Ant Plus. So when I'm out on the bike and out running on my watch, I use that. When I'm indoors training on Trainer Road or Zwift or at the gym, I'm going to be using my Polar H10 now. And this, if you need Bluetooth, I think this is the heart rate monitor I'm going to recommend even though the software is a bit crap and annoying, and it, I mean, not like Garmin Connect is any good anyway. Um, so I'm gonna end up recommending this over the HRM Dual, simply because I haven't seen the dropouts on this that I have on this, and it might just be bad luck, but uh, yeah, what, what, what else am I supposed to do if, if that's what's happening? And I, I don't want to see any more dropouts. And I haven't had any on the Polar. So if you are looking for the Bluetooth heart rate monitor, I would recommend the Polar H10 over the Garmin HRM Dual. Hope you found that uh, useful and an important update. Maybe if so, then please like and subscribe for more triathlon and cycling videos.